Hello everyone, it's Hannah. I'm currently standing in front of my apartment in my country bumpkin little town of Kumihama in Kyoto Prefecture, Japan. So it only took like, what, six months? But my apartment is finally presentable. So let's see it, shall we? Okay, so here we go. This right here is my genkan, which is like the entrance area where everyone leaves their shoes because Japanese people are super clean freaks about it and you always got to take your shoes off before you enter houses and schools and a lot of other places too. So, my genkan. Here's my door. I have like this little mailbox thing built in which is pretty awesome. I don't have to make any like trips to the mailbox so that's great. Saves me some time. Got some storage up here and down here, which is always welcome. Got to commend the Japanese for always having lots of storage available. So here as we walk in is like my sink and my washer. There is no dryer. Um, I pretty much have to either hang my clothes to dry or as I prefer to do, I um, drive to the laundromat and dry my clothes there. But yeah, it's pretty tiny. Um, laundry machine, but it works for me. It's pretty cool to have a laundry machine in my apartment. Here is my bathroom. So basically in Japan, they keep the toilet and the shower room separate. And this is a pretty decent size and pretty standard for a shower room in Japan. So here we have the little stool and bucket so you can sit on it and like wash yourself off which I rarely do. I usually just use this as like a normal shower. And then you got this pretty deep uh, tub right here because it's very customary to just chill in the tub after a long day of stressing yourself out. And it does work wonders, that's for sure. Okay, so next is my extra room. So I was pretty surprised when I got here. It's a pretty huge apartment for Japan in any case. It's about 600 square feet. And I have this extra room that I have no idea what to do with. So pretty much I just use it for storage. Right here, it's winter, it's February right now. So this is my lovely kerosene heater. It's so safe, but you know, it really does heat up the place. So I use it. And then I got some extra blankets and pillows for guests. This is like my little drying rack for little things that I want to dry that I don't want to deal with going to the laundromat for. And here is my old school TV. It was here when I came to the apartment, but for my like gaming habits, it is not suitable considering it doesn't even have an HDMI input, so I literally couldn't play any of my games on it. So I got a new TV, which you will be seeing very soon. So here is a view from my window, and right there is a Lost In convenience store, which maybe if you're American, you remember they used to be around way back when. Well, they're all over Japan, and they're nothing like the Lost Ins that used to be in America but they're hella convenient. So it's pretty awesome that I live right next door to one. It's pretty much like the hot spot of town because there's really not much going on here. So here is my desk, which is nice and big, like I like it. And then there is storage here. And here is my calendar that I did myself in calligraphy class. And the teacher made me write this really depressing quote, something about like studying forever. I'm like, okay, sure. I guess I'm a teacher now, so that should be a thing that I uh, am a proponent for, whatever. Okay, next. So this is my main room where I spend almost all my time. It is pretty much the perfect size if you ask me. So, another kerosene heater yay it's winter and as i learned pretty fast gotta have these babies they're not as bad as i thought but i don't know it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes i gotta take it out on my balcony over there every time i want to refill it because it's kind of like putting oil in your car it really stinks and it's just not fun but it's worth it to be warm and here is my uh my trash pyramid thing that I made. 
So it basically designates the different kinds of trash. And I have four trash cans here. They're not in a nice little line because currently I have to have my kerosene heater there. And then here's like the calendar for when they collect the trash. And here's how they separate the trash. It's just a wonderful thing, really. Just wonderful, I love it. And so here is my toaster oven. They don't really have normal ovens in Japan too often, so these things are kind of staples. And here is my sink. Note there is a ton of counter space. They just love their counter space in Japan. And ironically enough, this is actually considered a lot of counter space. Usually, there's just, you know, like the grill over here and the sink, and there is no counter space at all. So I'm glad I at least have a little bit. And then, okay, here's my rice cooker. That's a staple for Japanese life. Gotta have rice and all that. And this baby is like my uh, hot water warmer thing. I never use teapots anymore because this just like gets stuff hot in maybe like two minutes tops. It's great. So you probably notice a lot of green. It's my favorite color. So I definitely deck this place out with green and lots of uh, merchandise as I call it. So this is pretty much where I spend all my time. It's, there's really no reason to leave. Like this is called a kotatsu here. So it's like a coffee table, except as you can see, there's a blanket because underneath there is a heater so it gets super hot and it is just the best thing ever especially when you're in a cold drafty non-insulated japanese apartment and so right here is my controls for the kotatsu like you can turn it up this is like the high level and this is the low level down here and actually this adorable black cat carpet is also heated which i really really love so here's the controls for that it's pretty much the best combination ever but the most dangerous because i never want to leave this spot and here's my beautiful tv that i shelled out quite a bit for because i gotta support those gaming addictions okay so this is my balcony holy crap it's very sunny out um so it's not like normal balconies in America. Pretty much the whole purpose of having a balcony here is to dry your clothes and also to like pretty much refill your kerosene heaters. So look at that. That's all my kerosene over there. Isn't that sexy? And but this view, that's pretty pretty awesome. Rice fields, as far as the eye can see. And then this sexy crab building over here, I can see every day when I wake up. Just just love that love the mountains and there's my tiny little car which you might not be able to tell from this view gotta have a comparison it's tiny it's essentially a toy okay so last there is my room here so it is a tatami room what the japanese call it tatami room it's like this bamboo mat stuff and it's just wonderful. I wouldn't want to have like an entire apartment that's tatami because it takes a lot of maintenance and stuff and it's really touchy. It can get scratched easily. But as you can see, I don't have a real bed. This is my futon, which I mean, it's not like a pull out couch like in America. It's a real Japanese futon, which is basically just a mattress for the floor. And honestly, I would not rather not have it anywhere else. It's great being in the tatami room. It actually makes me enjoy being on a futon. I get to wake up and smell this beautiful tatami. And here is my carbon heater. It's actually like an electric space heater. And it's nice, but doesn't do as good of a job as the kerosene heaters. Um, you may have noticed earlier, in the other room, I have bubble taped half of the balcony door and in here the entire thing is bubble taped because you got to do what you can here to help with that insulation looks pretty ghetto but it's totally worth it for the help it gives in insulating the apartment okay so last we have more storage this is where I keep all my clothes and things 
just tons of storage space in there. It's pretty wonderful. Gotta commend the Japanese on having lots of storage space because typically their apartments are so small. So yeah, that's pretty much everything except my favorite. I saved the best for less. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we actually have the toilet room. Yay! So they have toilet rooms. As I said before, they don't usually have the sink and the shower and everything all together. So this is a room specifically for the toilet. And basically, this is the toilet of gods here. It is a wonderful, wonderful invention. It's like, so it's got all the buttons. And the one on the far left there, that's to stop it. The one in the middle is to pretty much just spray your ass with water, get it nice and clean. The one on the right is a bidet for women. And then next to that is the strength of the heating. And on the right, it's to turn the heat on or off. So pretty much being in a cold, drafty apartment, I mean, I don't keep this side of my apartment warm because it's just too much money it's very expensive i don't spend enough time over here to warrant that but i do have to go to the restroom and then i have my wonderful heated toilet seat so that saves me a lot of pain i very much love it and also a random fun fact that i learned so see this when i flush the toilet water actually comes out of here and the reason this is here is because most japanese people actually will just wash their hands here and then like dry them. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Maybe it's okay, but I don't know. That just, that just freaks me out a little bit. So I don't do that. I always go over here to wash my hands where I know it's nice and clean, probably. So that was the tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. It only took six months, like I said, but it's a pretty, pretty awesome apartment. Just know that most Japanese apartments are not this big. The only reason my apartment is this big is because I live in the middle of nowhere, as I showed you before, surrounded by rice fields. So most Japanese apartments honestly are like 200 square feet maybe, especially in the city. Like you're not gonna get much more of that unless you wanna sell your kidney. And I don't know, some people, when I told them about the size of my apartment, they thought this was pretty small, but just to give you like a figure, basically my um, student and student-to-be live next door in this very same apartment with their parents. So that's a family of four in this apartment. Now I agree, that's a little, little pushing it, but that's totally typical for Japan. They usually, yeah, lived in really, really confined spaces. They're used to that. So the American houses and apartments are just ridiculous to them. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to be keeping in touch with everyone soon via the blog. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.